you are sitting in that microwave this morning because I am meal prepping for the day. I'm just making some. I'm just making some hamburger meat. Um, I have been up since about 4:20. I get up super early um, naturally, so I try to just get to bed. I'm like a grandma. I can't. I can't be up past like nine o'clock without turning into a pumpkin. Um, and today I am going to shadow at the new school that I'll be working at. In the fall, sorry. I'm doing laundry and all the things. Um, and I'm excited, I'm so excited. So I'll be at Acton Academy. Um, I'm shadowing and learning all the things at the school, the main campus, um, because Acton is a different type. Uh, Montessori meets Waldorf meets contemporary meets just awesomeness and so I'm gonna go get trained um, over the summer and then I start here in just a couple months so in August I guess it's like six weeks anyways it is a year-round school I'll link the information down below so you can kind of check it out and learn more about it um, but so we're kind of officially already getting into our new schedule. I'm going to try and take you along with me today and kind of um, just show you behind the scenes. I don't know how much filming I'll be able to do. We'll see. Um, but we're getting ready. I'm going to drop my kiddos off with their dad this morning and then um, head to work. So I'm meal prepping now. Already got ready, obviously. Um, kids are getting ready. It's so nice when they become self-sufficient. You know what I mean? So I've got a 10 and a 7-year-old, um, Judah, who is 10. Zion, who literally just turned seven two days ago. Um, they are the joys of my life, and um, they're getting ready right now. So, okay, I'm gonna package this up, and I will see you in a bit. We're just about to leave. I just want to show you age appropriate chores for your kids are so good. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Um, You're doing the dishes, huh? They did a volcano yesterday and he's just cleaning up. He's 10 and then my youngest is seven. Hi. And he's vacuuming the porch. So if you're a mama or a parent or a dad or whatever. So if you're a parent and you're watching this, Press the red button. I just want to encourage you to have your kids do age appropriate chores. It's so good for their development. It fosters ownership and interdependence and they are fully capable of more than you even, even know. So we're just wrapping up chores and then we're gonna we're gonna head out in about five minutes. A few moments later. Alright, I'm here. I'm just grabbing all of my stuff and then I'm gonna head in. And I got my lunch, my water backpack. Ugh. First day, I feel like got first day jitters. <laughs> Even though it's really not the first day because I've shadowed other places, but this is the first day that I'll be shadowing at a school that is in the age group that I'll be teaching at in the fall. So I'm excited about that. All right, here we go. Okay, so at Acton Academy, each classroom is called a different, like has a different name. I'll be in the Spark Academy, or Spark Studio. Um, so instead of a classroom, they call it a studio. And then the Spark Studio are students that are like kinder and first grade. Um, so this is kind of Montessori, Waldorfian based, pretty progressive with technology, um, but a little bit different than a traditional school. So we shadowing today. Nobody's here yet, but I'm excited to share.
we are outside for recess time. We kind of had some core time before this. And we're just kind of walking through the day. Um, the guide that I'm paired with right now is so helpful, so informative. I'm asking so many questions and she's been so gracious and just sharing everything with me. I'm so excited to be here. Hey, I am back at home now. Um, so the day went so well. Um, we just kind of followed that schedule. I don't know if I actually should do the schedule. Um, I'll try and put a picture right here of what the schedule is. And um, the biggest thing that I'm learning is just the Acton way. There's like an Acton method that you as, a, as an educator are trying to follow. Uh, it's very different than traditional school, so I'm learning all of that. Um, but it is honestly so wonderful to be back in the classroom. I just, just being around, um, you know, little humans has been really enjoyable and, and uh, I feel like my passion. I feel like being home this last year has been great and such a blessing in so many ways. Um, we really needed this last year at home, to be honest. We had a lot going on um, in our family. And, um, but just to be able to go back into the classroom now has been so life-giving. So I'm excited to be back in person. Um, so the plan is to train a couple days a week, like to kind of shadow a couple days a week until August. And then I start full-time in August and I will have my own classroom, my own studio is what we call it. Yeah, so I'm just trying to learn and soak in all the things um, this round. All right, I think that's all I've got for this vlog. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Um, get some dinner. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on um, some Teachers Pay Teacher stuff and Clever School Teacher membership stuff. I'll link some stuff down below if you guys are interested in joining the Clever School Teacher membership. If you're a kindergarten or first grade teacher, we have a membership um, for you. It's kind of like a subscription model where you subscribe for 20 bucks a month and you get a ton of resources, more like, valued at like $60 um, for $20 and it's like Christmas you get an exclusive Facebook page all the things I'll do a little plug here for it and I'll link everything down below but I think that's it all right guys I am woo, I am a little bit tired gonna gonna be honest um if you're not already a subscriber click that subscribe button uh follow along tag a teacher share this video all of your support is so welcomed and we appreciate you I appreciate you so I will see you in the next video. Bye.